Polynomial functions. The standard form of a polynomial function arranges terms in order from greatest to least by exponent. So take a look at the example. We notice that we start with 7x to the fifth. The fifth is what I care about. So that is the largest exponent in the polynomial. And then I go to the next term with a four, the next term with a three, and so on. So we give one for you to try out. Write the example in standard form. If there's anything to be combined, do that first. From least to greatest by exponent, negative x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x plus 7. Next, let's talk about classifying polynomials. Miss Ryan? We classify polynomials by the degree and number of terms in standard form. So let's look at the different degree names first. If I look here, a constant is a polynomial where the highest exponent is zero. So it has a degree of zero, which makes sense, right? If I have y equals seven or y equals negative 12 or y equals 11, it's a constant number. Okay, we already know the next name. If my highest exponent is one, it's called linear. And then we've talked about this third one as well. If my highest exponent or my degree is two, so x squared, it's quadratic. Well, cool, we already kind of knew the first three, so let's learn the ones past this. So if my highest exponent is three, so x cubed, it's called a cubic. If my highest exponent is four, so my degree is four, it's called a quartic. So kind of think of like quarters, four quarters and a dollar. Quartic. If my highest exponent is five, it's a quintic, kind of like quince, the movie. Beyond that, we just use the number to describe the degree of the polynomial. So like sixth degree polynomial, seventh degree polynomial, etc. To classify the polynomial by its number of terms, we then go from the terms in standard form. So if I have a polynomial that's like y equals 4x or y equals 9x squared or y equals 7, there's only one term there. So that's called a monomial. And you see I only highlighted that mono part because that means one, right? Monomial. Okay, next example, we have two terms. Well, what do you think that one's called? A binomial, right? Because we got two like bicycle, two wheels. And then we've got trinomial for three terms. And then anything beyond that, we just say polynomial and state how many terms. So polynomial, four terms, polynomial, five terms. Where poly means many. Let's look at Mrs. Peart's example from before. She wrote a polynomial in standard form. Well, what would the degree be? Three, because the highest exponent is three. So I know it's gonna be classified as a cubic. And then number of terms, one, two, three, four terms. So that's just gonna be a polynomial with four terms. So we have a cubic polynomial of four terms. We classified. Continuing to look at Mrs. Peart's example, there's a few other things I can tell from standard form as well. One being the highest order term. That's that very first term in our standard form polynomial. So my highest order term here is going to be negative x cubed. Well, I can tell my leading coefficient from that term. So the leading coefficient is, well, what's in front of my x cubed? A little negative sign. So that means I have a negative one. So my leading coefficient is negative one. And then let's find one more thing from our standard form. What about the y-intercept? Because we were good at that in quadratics. To find the y-intercept for any given problem, no matter where we are, we can just plug in zero. So if I plug in zero for x here, I end up getting y equals seven. So make sure we write a y-intercept as a coordinate, right? Because it's a point. So zero, seven. Thanks, Miss Ryan. Now let's do a couple of practice problems. Number one, let's put it in standard form first. So 9x squared plus 3x plus 5. Okay, well let's see. 2 is the largest exponent, so I have a quadratic. How many terms? 3. Trinomial. Leading coefficient. All we do is look at that highest order term and what number is in front. Leading coefficient is 9. And how do we know the y-intercept? We plug in 0 for x and evaluate. 9 times 0 squared plus 3 times 0 plus 5, we get the point 0, 5. Number 2, go for it. Standard form, classify, then identify leading coefficient and y-intercept. I almost forgot to combine like terms. Hope you didn't. But then, once I did, my standard form polynomial is a quartic polynomial of four terms. Leading coefficient of 1 and y-intercept, 0, comma, negative 12. Okay, number three and number four, and Miss Ryan will come in and check answers with you. Let's check number three and four. For number three, I got y equals negative x cubed minus x. So that's a cubic binomial, because there's two terms. Leading coefficient is negative one, because that's what's in front of my x cubed. 
my y intercept is zero, zero, because when I plug in zero for x, I get zero back. So zero, zero, hey, that's an x intercept as well. Hmm. Number four, I got y equals three x to the fifth. Now be careful here, when I added my x squared terms together, they ended up adding out. So I just got y equals three x to the fifth. So that's a quintic, there's only one term, monomial, so quintic monomial. Leading coefficient for this one is three, and the y-intercept is zero, zero. So it's an x-intercept again.